Number two, which choice is not equal to one third? Every test, every test we put not in capital letters, we pulled it, we underlined it. And every test I have students tell me, miss, I forgot to see, I forgot to make it not. Please take the time to really read and understand your question because your work doesn't mean anything if you're not understanding what you're supposed to do correctly. Slow down, take the time. If you wanna highlight it, box it, whatever in there, write it down on your paper too, not. Write it again and again so you see it and make sure you're doing the steps correctly. Which one of those is not equal to one third? So fraction, we have things in decimals and percents. Whenever we're comparing things to fractions, we want to turn it into a decimal point. How do we turn a fraction into a decimal? Again, we've got to divide. Again, I'm going to use the box method because that's what most of my students use. The top number is one. It's going to go inside my box. My denominator is three. It's going to go outside my box. Can three go into one? Mm -mm. I cannot make a group of three if I only have one thing. Zero times three is zero. Subtract, but I'm not done yet. I need to add more boxes. So let me add some boxes. If I add boxes, I have to add a decimal and some zeros. So that way I can carry over my one. Can't even tell that's green that I wrote that with, can you? So that's how many times does three go into 10? How many times does three go into 10? Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four is 12. 12 is too big. I'm just trying to go into 10. So I need to do three times three. Write out your multiples on the side. Keep going until, oh, I found my answer. I found what I need to divide. This will help so much with your division. Please, please, please do that. Three times three, like we already said, gives us nine. 10 minus nine is one. We carry that little one over. Three goes into 10 how many times? Again, three. And oh no, we see we've got some repeating going on. So this decimal here, we see it's gonna repeat. So something that I like to do, I'm gonna rewrite it. 0 0.3333333, it's gonna keep on going forever and ever. A has 0 0.0333. It looks very close to what I have here, but is it the same? No. Again, this one has a zero before my three start. That's not correct. The zero is in front of the decimal. There is no zero after. So A is not, A is not equal to one third. D, zero point. Right after the decimal, there's a bunch of threes with the repeating dot. Z is, or D is good. D is okay. If I want to turn this into a percent, I move my decimal to the right, to the right. That gives me 33.33 repeating percent. This one is also correct. But that one little zero, it looks so close. It's hard to see if you're not looking closely. Take the time. Slow down. And again, we're trying to figure out what does not equal one thing.